In terms of the history of the Winter Concert, I don't know exactly when it started. The furthest back I can give you is 1970. So that's as far back as I know to go. I'm sure things happened prior to 1970. But at least since that time, the Winter Concert and the Spring Concerts have been happening in the Shea Theater in the Isla Parts Building. We just hired, back in March, uh, last semester, another full-time band director. It was exciting to hear the phone ring and have the dean say, congratulations, you have a line now. And we were able to hire Dr. Mark C., who we're very excited to have. He was the clear winner for all the candidates who came in to interview and audition for the position. He's just completing his doctorate in Washington State, and he has no plans to go anywhere for the foreseeable future. So we're looking forward to him being here for the long term and once again seeing the bands grow under his tutelage and direction. So some of the students that I can tell you about, her name is Christina Gerke, and she now is a singer in the Metropolitan Opera. She performs in Wagnerian opera roles, which are the stereotypical, you know, sort of larger than life, big gowns and the helmets with the horns and the really big voices to sing Wagner. So we're very proud to have a, a person like that that we can claim as our own. Another student that was here years ago that I remember being in my classes and I was his piano teacher for a while is Alan Hankers. He is an active composer. He's had his music performed all over the country and, and also in Europe. Amanda Burridge uh, is a student that we had uh, here. She was a violinist. She's now teaching in public schools locally. Megan Metzger, another one, uh, is a singer. She also is doing things locally here as public school teacher. Another name that I will share with you is Caitlin Weeks. That's what I knew her as. Her last name is Caitlin Kelly now. She was a flute player here. When she left Suffolk, she ended up going to a music therapy program at Malloy College. Now her work primarily is with the elderly. She works with patients who have Alzheimer's, dementia, etc., and she experiences daily the joy of sharing music with those people so they can experience the healing power thereof. Another student I'll tell you about is James Cherconi. He was here a few years ago. He was slightly older than the traditional college age student. He is Italian and he had been studying at an Italian conservatory. He was a guitarist. He went back home to Italy, back to the same conservatory. The conservatory was impressed with what he had learned and what he had done. And he came back to us and he said, guess what guys, the conservatory loves you and is very happy that I was able to be there in your program. So we always feel like if we can get the thumbs up from a European conservatory, we're doing our job. And another big claim to fame we're very proud of is we have four members of the faculty, all of whom happen to be guitarists, but who are former students. We're very, very proud of what we do. We would hold our program and our curriculum and certainly the level of our faculty up to any other community college and in some cases even greater than community level. Certainly on Long Island, even in the state of New York, I'll go on record saying that, and probably within the Northeast, if not the entire country.